Hi guys, Tech James here. So the other day I was actually about to record a PlayStation Vita video, but I actually got an error message on my PS Vita. So I was just using Vita Shell and suddenly I got this error message that said my PS Vita's GPU has crashed. So luckily I was actually about to record a video, so I did manage to record the error message I got. And it says GPU driver detects the GPU crash, generating core dump. So basically what happened is, um, as I was playing my PS Vita, the GPU crashed which meant it basically just couldn't run anymore so it had to turn itself off and when I powered it back on it just entered safe mode but luckily I was able to get back on it so I was wondering the reason why my PS Vita GPU crashed now you're pretty much only going to notice this error if you have got custom firmware because there are two reasons or maybe there's more but I find two main reasons why you might actually encounter this glitch now I'm going to show you how I fixed mine so basically I've got a plugin called LOL Icon and basically this plugin was running running at max settings and I didn't realize so I was using my PS Vita and suddenly the GPU just crashed because the plugin was running way too much so, so I will show you how I fixed it basically to access this plugin you have to press select and the up button um, on the d-pad you might even have this plugin installed pretty popular one and if I go into the um, overclock options and press X and if I just scroll through mine was actually on max preference as you can see um, the GPU is 333 MHZ and if I go down obviously it gets a lot lower that's default default is 166 so yeah 333 MHZ is actually pretty high and that is the reason why my GPU crashed so I have been using it for about five days since and I've not come across this error again I wasn't really doing anything just in Vita shell and um, browsing some files so if if you just press circle to go back this is how I fixed it so I turned on my PS Vita run the HN Core update real quick open this very fast and before it had a chance to crash again basically what I did is I went to clear settings and I just press X once you press X on this it's just going to clear all of the settings you have got so I think I accidentally set it as default so every time I turned it on and run the HN Core update that would start up now I didn't notice a crash before but maybe because I was just running it for quite a long time maybe there was like an app update maybe it's because of the plugins I don't know but for some reason it crashed and ever since I've done this it hasn't really fixed it so I would recommend only overclocking the GPU in games and don't leave it on max preference all the time so once you're done you can just press um, select and down and it will close the menu and there you go you should not encounter any more crashes now there is actually another reason why your GPU might be crashing so if you're following this video because yours is crashing I will be showing you that right now I'm gonna go and show you on my PC because there's actually a Reddit post um, which explains how they got it and how they solved it. So I actually found the second option to this fix on Reddit. There might even be more options, but um, these are the main two ones I found. So basically this guy, his PlayStation Vita was crashing, the GPU was crashing, apparently all the time he was playing games. And um, basically how he solved it is he was using an original Sony memory card and he watched a tutorial on YouTube that showed you how to install something, but they used the SD Vita, could have even been one of my videos, who knows. And basically he was loading plugins um, from the URO but um, they were loading off the UXO so obviously it was making his PSV to load plugins from two different memories at the same time and it was overloading the RAM so this was another reason why you might get this um, GPU crash so basically what he had to do is actually might take quite a long time he had to move all of his plugins um, that he had put on the URO into the UXO so you just copy the contents of the folder over and then of course you've got to edit the config file to put the plugins back in. So yeah, if you do have um, an original Sony memory card and you're installing plugins, make sure you do install them to the UXO and not the URO um, because this is loading plugins from two different places and it was just making his PlayStation Vita crash. So they are both of the methods on how you fix this. Now I said there could be even more methods, but these were the main two that I found. The first one was the one that I was having and then this one, my might be another option if you're getting this GPU crash so it's a bit of a weird glitch but hopefully if you are having it this is how you fix it so that is pretty much it for this video I thought this error was quite interesting there are lots of errors on the PlayStation Vita but this was one I encountered and I'd never actually heard of it until I got it so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one